Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking. Today I'm going to show you what's coming up very soon. For example, scenarios. You see this little button there? What is hiding behind it is 16 brand new scenarios, which we are currently in the final stages of balancing out. As you can see, there are quite a few pretty tough challenges in there. And also some easier ones. What is special about this, these scenarios is that you no longer are restricted to a certain engine type nor are you res restricted to a certain aspiration type. Those scenarios here are completely free and you are free to choose what you would like to build. If it's a turboed inline 6 or a little inline 4, it depends on the scenario what fits best and you have to find out yourself. Also, I would like to show you how to build engines with turbos in the new turbo easy mode. Even though I probably won't have to show you it, but I wanted to illustrate it, how easy it actually is. So, let's try to build an economical modern engine. Um, not one which is over the top, but pretty standard. So, let's see, cast cast, low friction cast, um, it's pretty small. 80 bore, 80 stroke, and then we go for a valve train setup with four valves, dual overhead cam, aluminum ropes, I chose the wrong parts there, so go back there, and compression, a bit lower, um, LAN cam profile and VVT, but no VVL, aspiration, okay, there we are, so it's a modern engine, so we choose the ball bearings, uh, probably a small intercooler, we just want to enhance cruising for this one, so we go for the economy preset and we leave all the parameters um, the same but we just want to enhance the cruising performance so I lower it to 0.3 bar which really is not that much so let's see just leave it at this it's um, nice and easy direct injection it's a modern engine no, we don't go for race intakes. That would be pretty much overkill. And then, oh my god, do you spot this? There is no def meth. Not even a cheat code unlocks it right now, because we don't need it anymore. The engines and the calculations are balanced enough for us to proceed without def meth. But probably it will re um, come back at some point. So, let's see. Uh, economic engine, so we want to run close to stoichiometric and um, a bit high ignition timing. Uh, rev limiter looks fine, 6000. That our bottom end should cope with that. So let's go to the exhaust. This engine definitely won't make much power. It's just supposed to be very efficient. So let's see exhaust. That's probably enough, less than 100 kilowatts. Um, that's quite a big factor, less than my last engine, I, I think. Yeah, it is. More than 20. Um, Alright, one reverse flow and no second muffler. Seems reasonable, so let's test this thing. Ah, isn't this beautiful? Apart from the buggy graphs, which you can see, <laughs> it seems to want to uh, be friends with the upper graph. Uh, this will be fixed, of course. It needs to be scaling before actually drawing the curve. Um, but you can see very nicely we have spooled the turbo with this economy setting already at cruising um, loads and at from 2000 RPM onwards we have basically a nice flat plateau up to 4000 and then just a slight drop off in torque there to give us a very smooth nice rise easy to drive engine with this little bit of extra economy this is a very good figure almost 30 percent efficiency is very high and you get this at the optimal cruising RPMs it's pretty neat isn't it so um, we are still on schedule. Uh, we have a lot of new testers now and they will be getting into the project tomorrow for some nice um, release candidate testing. 
and it will be awesome. So, um, have a good one. Cheers.